Hey, what up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. Tomorrow night is going to spark the January 19th edition of Monday Night Raw. I have been on a quest for the last four weeks to project Randy Orton's return to WWE Raw. I have no clue why the hell Randy Orton is being held up for television. That basically this is the go-home edition of uh, Monday Night Raw leading into the Royal Rumble. Um, I don't know. I, um, I know that Orton has to come back. And Norton has to start his uh, feud with Seth Rollins, which I think will more than likely be his WrestleMania feud with him. Um, I, I thought that he would come in and, um, you know, uh, be a part of the Royal Rumble. And then the fast lane WrestleMania and Extreme Rules would be the sort of three-month feud for Rollins versus Orton, sending them off in the next direction and seeing where they're going. I think that's long enough to, to have some great matches with him. Seth Rollins is a guy that's really stepped up to the plate and become a real main event player for the WWE. He's been having the Money in the Bank briefcase since, I believe, June and uh, has flirted, cashing it in a few times. Even though he took a little bit of uh, flack after last week after hitting a curb stomp on John Cena and Brock Lesnar to end Monday Night Raw instead of asking for a referee to come in and pin Brock Lesnar in the middle of the ring. He chose to pose and show off the the second the, you know, his shine. I guess you can say at Monday Night Raw, um, Orton needs to come back. I mean, you know, Rollins basically has bit off more than he can chew and in being involved in the uh, the main event um, sort of place. I don't know if they're holding Randy Orton's return off to basically kill off Rollins at the Royal Rumble. I know that a lot of people are predicting for Rollins to win at the pay per view. Uh, but honestly, in my mind, the Viper, uh, he, when he makes his return, he needs to basically stop uh, the authority and he needs to stop Rollins in the same thing. Um, I, I don't know if he shows up on, on Monday Night Raw. Uh, if they do, that, that puts them in a horrible situation. I was about to say that they would book him in a tag team match to have his return mean almost nothing, but there's no way in the world Brock Lesnar is going to be wrestling in a tag match on Monday Night Raw. They're not going to give that away. So I've almost run out of uh, thoughts on what you can do um, with him returning. But uh, definitely there's an RKO coming to him. Um, to to, uh, to Seth Rollins, and if you can remember this sort of dust-up situation when Randy was beefing with Triple H, there's an RKO coming for Triple H as well. Um, you know, both are owed. You know, Ray, Randy Orton was put out of commission by Seth Rollins uh, after Stephanie McMahon gave the order to Triple H. He he was the one who gave the order to follow through. It was time to you know take him out. Uh, there was a big risk seeing how they were leading up into Team Cena versus Team Authority, and Randy Orton could have showed up at the Survivor. Series backstage reports uh, told this reporter that uh, Orton was in St. Louis uh, for the pay per view, just uh, it wasn't the right time to bring them back. And now here we are, months later, still wondering when Orton's going to return. There's been uh, rumors of him being injured uh, in, with his, uh, his nose, and he had to have surgery uh, to fix that. And uh, who knows when this guy's coming back, but I'm hoping it's on Monday. I'm not the biggest Randy Orton fan, but I'm ready to you know, you know, jump and scream and go giddy like a little girl. Um, you know, seeing that RKO, and then I'm, I'm sure three months into this uh, babyface run by the Extreme Rules, I'll be uh, begging uh, for a heel turn, because that's just what wrestling fans do.